Why does renal failure occur in multiple myeloma? This question can be answered by understanding the basic pathogenesis of multiple myeloma, renal failure, and then understanding the link between the two. Watch the short clip from one of my previous videos explaining the pathogenesis of multiple myeloma. Multiple myeloma, by definition, is a malignant proliferation of plasma cells that produce abnormal immunoglobulins. In simpler terms, it is a cancer of a particular type of blood cells known as the plasma cells. Now let me explain this to you. You see, all the blood cells originate from a progenitor cell known as the hematopoietic stem cell which is present in the bone marrow. These hematopoietic stem cells produce the myeloid and the lymphoid progenitor cells. The lymphoid progenitor cells in turn give rise to the T and the B lymphocytes. The B lymphocytes when they get in contact with a foreign body. Then the antigen of the foreign body gets in contact with the B lymphocyte and then the B lymphocyte gets activated due to the exposure with the antigen and then they produce the plasma cells. These plasma cells produce immunoglobulins and these immunoglobulins are the antibodies that help fight off the invading foreign body or the antigen. Normally the plasma cells produce normal immunoglobulins that can effectively fight off the foreign body. Whereas in multiple myeloma, the plasma cells produce abnormal immunoglobulins that do not effectively fight off the antigens. And also there is a malignant proliferation of the plasma cells. That is, there is an increase in the number of the plasma cells. And these plasma cells in turn produce abnormal immunoglobulins. So in simple terms, multiple myeloma is a cancer of plasma cells that produce abnormal immunoglobulins. The basic function of the kidneys is to excrete waste products and excess water in the body. In renal failure, the kidneys do not function properly. That is, they function less than 15% of their normal capacity, leading to accumulation of excess waste products and water in the body. There could be various reasons for renal failure. It could be a reason where there is not enough blood supply to the kidney, so they are not able to function properly, or there could be a defect in the kidney itself, mainly in the nephrons of the kidney. The nephrons are the basic structural and functional units of the kidney, and they mainly function through two parts, such as the glomeruli and the renal tubules. If there is any damage to these organs, that can also cause failure of the kidney function. Or the kidneys may not be able to function well due to an obstruction beyond them. That is, any obstruction to the urinary tract in general can also affect the functions of the kidney. And all these things can lead to the failure of normal kidney function known as renal failure. 
and this failure can be acute which is a temporary failure that can be reversed or chronic which is a chronic long-term damage to the kidney in multiple myeloma the malignant plasma cells produce abnormal immunoglobulins mostly in the form of monoclonal light chain immunoglobulins and these abnormal immunoglobulins exert toxic effects on the glomeruli and the tubules of the nephron that in turn leads to multiple manifestations in the kidney that then cause renal failure the renal manifestations of multiple myeloma occur due to the deposition of abnormal immunoglobulins mainly light chains in the glomeruli and the tubules of the kidney of these cast nephropathy or myeloma kidney and fanconi's syndrome affect the tubules of the kidney whereas primary amyloidosis and monoclonal immunoglobulin deposition disease affect the glomeruli of the kidney also hypercalcemia can affect the kidney leading to certain other renal manifestations these are the renal manifestations of multiple myeloma which when they occur for a long period of time can lead to damage to the kidney causing renal failure as always thank you for watching my video if you found this video helpful do give a like leave your feedback in the comments below share it with your friends and subscribe to support the channel and get updates whenever i post a new video until then happy learning